Interesting. He has been in heaven for 2,000 years now. But what has he been doing in heaven? Mm. Because the Bible says he was taken up then. Actually, that's the key to our question. Yeah. Because here in Hebrews chapter 8, which also talks about the sanctuary, we read in verses 1, 2, and 6 the following. Now, this is the main point of the things we are saying. We are such a high priest. This is Jesus who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord erected and not man. And as also goes on, he has obtained a more excellent ministry in as much as he is also mediator of a better covenant. So the first thing here to see is Jesus, when he ascended to heaven, he started to be a high priest or advocate before the Father. And it says here in the Bible that he actually is seated to the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. So this is God the Father. And then heaven, he's the minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord directed and not man. This is interesting because the earthly tabernacle was erected by man. But apparently this was not the true tabernacle. There's a second tabernacle in heaven which God built. And it says Jesus is also the mediator or priest of a better covenant. And actually let us read a few more verses to see it more in context. Because it says here, that verily the first covenant, that's a different one to of which Jesus is high priest, had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. Mm. This is not talking about this sanctuary which was in Jerusalem, which was part of the first covenant. And, and now take a look, which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, as pertaining to the conscience, which stood only in the meats and drinks and diverse washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. What Paul is really here saying, all those things the Jews did where they killed lambs, yes, this was commanded by God, but it didn't have any power to save them from sin. It was an illustration of what Jesus really would do when he would die. And it says here that this illustration was imposed on them until the time of Reformation. This time of Reformation is when Jesus came and made the illustration no more necessary. It's like you don't have to see the picture of something when you could actually really be at the place or with the people on the picture. Why have a picture when you could really have the reality? Yeah. And so it says here, Christ being come an high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building or in, in a different version, it says not of this creation. So Jesus as now this minister of this covenant which can actually really save us and, and cleanse us from sin and give us victory. This tabernacle in, when he, in which he does his ministry is greater and more perfect than the earthly tabernacle, which was in Jerusalem. And it also says it's not made with hands and not of this creation, so it cannot be on this earth. And which sanctuary is meant here? It can we look, Jesus is in heaven, so it's a heavenly sanctuary. This is the sanctuary which is now of the fullest significance. The earthly sanctuary is no longer there, and it could really not make us and give us victory and forgiveness. Only in heaven Jesus can do that. And so this cleansing of the sanctuary must be the cleansing of the sanctuary in heaven. What does it really mean? Why is there something in heaven which needs to be cleansed? 